I love life. So I want to remain young, energetic, enjoy it for as long as I can. I'm medically trained. I know all the standard advice for staying healthy. But in my case, it doesn't seem to be working. I've discovered that my body is not the lean, long-lived machine I would like it to be. <laughs> Third of your body's fat. Thank you <laughs> for making that point so emphatically. So I set off to find experts who are trying to combat the ravages of aging. We are rewriting human physiology here. Ooh, yeah! If you can find something else that you can do that it doesn't hurt you, yes. that benefits you, and that causes these changes, I'd like to know. <laughs> what I discovered was truly surprising. It involves no pills, no injections, and no hidden costs. It's all a question of what you eat. Or rather, what you don't eat. Last night, I dreamt I ate a sandwich, and then I felt fantastically guilty. It's about fasting. But fasting made easier. If I were to go on to Joe's lifestyle, in a year, you are going to you, you're gonna be cured. The big thing is that this is the beginning of something, uh, which I think could be huge. If it takes off and if it heads off in the direction that I imagine it will, then this, this could be genuinely revolutionary. For decades, teams of scientists around the world have been intensely studying aging. Now, clearly, genes play a significant part in how quickly and well we age. But there's nothing much you can do about your genes. There is, however, something you can do about what you eat. And here in America, they are starting to turn out some truly remarkable research linking food with longevity. It seems it's not just about what we eat, but how and when we eat it. Our story begins in the Dust Bowls of America during the 1930s. There was a terrible drought, food was scarce, and the whole country was in the grips of the Great Depression. <laughs> 